just recently a brand new report about the reboot of Batman, aka Batman Brave and the Bold, which is going to be in James Gunn's and Peter Safran's DCU, got an update that upset a lot of fans. And that has snowballed into James Gunn debunking it, which has, well, snowballed into more stuff, which I'll talk about. <laughs> Okay, so just recently, the former DCEU Scoops, which ended up rebranding after getting a pretty bad rep from what many people online are saying because uh, they got debunked a bunch of times by James Gunn. People at DC changed their name to Nexus Point News. Now, this, again, started to gain them a lot of traction, and most recently, they shared a exclusive on their website that started to make uh, the rounds and get a lot of traction and this was that the brave and the bold batman reboot landed the horror duo writers of andy muschetti and rod sayugas aka one of the writers of the upcoming alien romulus now this quickly spread like wildfire because um people were hating james gunn and the dcu because hey hold up you're hiring a bunch of people that are associated with horror to make a Batman film, but your previous tweets about a dark Batman, about a gritty Batman, reveal that you hate that. So why are you a hypocrite? And um, this kind of hit, I would say, <laughs> critical mass anywhere you looked at James Gunn's posts because, well, the hate was spreading. So somebody just tagged James Gunn in this report and was like, hey, is this true? And he debunked it on social media. And, well... Now, James Gunn is, again, being called out as a bully and a bad guy. But again, I, I just need to address this, guys. People don't seem to understand. People are making up outright lies about all this stuff. Imagine if Disney was to just come out and look at all of these fake reports and scoopers and insiders and just be like, no, they're all wrong. They're lying to you. Stop being, stop falling for this stupid stuff. You're an idiot. Yes, they would get blasted for calling you an idiot for believing it, but again, they would discredit all of it. And remember, I think it was like, what, J.J. Abrams? Maybe it was, I don't know, it was one of the other Star Wars directors, but they said they have a zero policy because they make fun of the YouTuber who constantly just makes up BS. James Gunn is constantly under fire for rumors that aren't true. And he's trying to come out here and debunk it and take some of the heat off himself because it's not fair to him. You know, and this happens in every single fandom. Remember when the sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming was going to star Captain Marvel and Spider-Man was taking a backseat? Did any of those people that were spreading that ever walk that back? No, they didn't. It does damage. So I'm glad James Gunn did this and now it's debunked. 